In the 2018 budget, we are told that only 10% find work within one year, and the remaining 90% 90, 90 will find work after 10 years. And then this document, our own national security strategy is telling us it is a threat to it is a threat to our security. We don't need a prophet to tell us what we should do. The third thing I want to add is that when you were negotiating for the 20, uh, 2021 2022 base pay, one of the key points and the bargaining chip of government at the time was that we should take the four seven percent so that we can keep all the people within the public sector at the workplace so that there will be no redundancy. And that is those were the one of the reasons why the four seven percent was accepted, so that there will be no freeze on employment and all that. The very thing that they use as a bargaining chip to get the union leaders go for the four seven percent today, we are being told that they placing whether it, they are freezing it or whatever it is. That's unfortunate because already you have a, a teaming unemployment situation in this very country. And if 2023, there's not going to be any uh, uh, engagement or appointment or employment in this very country, then you can imagine what the situation of unemployment is going to be in this country. Mm. But then what I want to tell you now is that, uh, uh, you know, this budget was raised yesterday. And do you see normally after the budget, have our, our post-budget meeting mm. where the committee uh, for social and economic committee and political organization committee meet, digest the budget and then advise the TVC on the way forward. Mm -hmm. So on Monday, God's will, and we are going to hold that very meeting. Mm -hmm. Then immediately after that, you will actually announce our reaction, our position on the budget. Yes.